Spurs won, Arsenal nil. Um, bitterly disappointed with that second half performance. Once again, we came out after the break half asleep. And although we didn't create a great deal in the first half either, I felt as though we at least defended pretty well. Um, the midfield remained disciplined for the most part. And we had a few opportunities to hurt them on the break. And we were just missing that final pass. I thought Ozil and Mikitarian were passengers today. And I'm not surprised Mikitarian was the first one to be pulled off by the boss. He wasted a couple of really decent opportunities in that first half. And on top of that, he didn't protect Nacho Monreal anywhere near enough. From a defensive viewpoint, it's hard to completely blame Mikitarian though because it comes down to the manager asking an attacking midfield player to defend something that's unnatural to him. And it was always going to be either him or, or Mesut Ozil that was going to leave the space that led to a goal. Harry Kane was brilliant today, as much as I hate to say it. And we had the warning signs before he eventually broke the deadlock. But Lauren Koscielny's defending for the goal has to be questioned. He had absolutely no idea where Harry Kane was. He was facing our own goal without a clue of what was going on behind him. And it was no way a foul like some of our supporters are claiming. Um, the fact we saw two such contrasting performances in the two halves says to me that there wasn't enough structure and guidance from the management. The very principles that kept us level at half-time were just thrown out of the window at the break. They were physically superior, wanted it more than us, and in the end had four times the amount of attempts we did. And then we saw the, the trademark Wenger substitutions where he pulls off half of our midfield and overloads the team with forwards. I mean, how are you meant to get a foothold of possession and, and start creating without a midfield? That just doesn't make sense. Alex Akazet came on, had two wonderful opportunities late on. The first one in, uh, just evidenced the fact that he's suffering from a real lack of confidence. And the second, in my opinion, was a lot harder than it looked, to be fair. Um, he maybe could have used the outside of his boot in order to put the spin on the finish that would have taken it sort of goal-bound. But maybe that's me being overly critical. But we were disgraced, embarrassed and made to look extremely average by Spurs today. They fully deserved it and it goes to show that we never really solved anything during this transfer window. The criticism that will inevitably come the way of, of Wenger and the players is fully deserved and the Europa League now looks like our only hope of qualifying for the UEFA Champions League. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to this brand new Arsenal dedicated channel. Follow us on Twitter at Chronicles underscore AFC and subscribe to our weekly podcast available on iTunes, SoundCloud and the FNX Network. Cheers.